You are listening to the Network Marketing Mindset Podcast with Deb Erickson. Season 2, Episode Number 11, Expect Nothing and Appreciate Everything. Welcome to the Network Marketing Mindset Podcast, where you'll learn how to transform your mindset and achieve massive success in your network marketing business. Here's your host, Business Mindset Coach, Deb Erickson. to have you at the beginning of season number two. I hope you had a great summer and a great time off and you are ready to rock and roll again in your business. You know, as the kids are back in school and you're ready to gear up for the fall, the question is always, what do I need to do to get the business moving again? What I decided to talk to you today about is a a mindset or an attitude that my first network marketing coach gave me and I have to tell you that it changed everything for me. So that mindset was this, expect nothing from your upline or from your company or from anyone else, expect nothing but appreciate every single thing you get. Now here's what my coach was trying to give me was an understanding that you know what, You are in business for yourself. You are your own boss. You are an entrepreneur, which means that you are responsible for your own success. But there are some really bad habits that have happened in this industry where people come in under someone and then they somehow get dependent or they develop this energy where they are expecting or they think they deserve something just because the person above you is making money on your efforts. Well, what's really interesting is that, you know, that is true in every aspect of life. You know what I mean? There is always someone above you. There is always somebody that is benefiting from your time, your energy, your money. And so, What's interesting is that people have developed this uh, this energy in our industry that doesn't help them at all because what they're doing is they're they're waiting. They're waiting for someone else, right, to hold them accountable. They're waiting for someone else to teach them or mentor them or coach them. They're they're waiting. It's a waiting game. And if you get into a waiting energy, I'm just here to tell you that you are going to be very disappointed in the outcome. And here's why I know that. You guys, I told you that I was in the industry myself for about 10 years. Um, I was everything from a top leader to a uh, corporate trainer. And in the middle of all of that, one of the things that I did was a lot of research looking into what is it that separates those top performers from everybody else. And you know what I found out? A couple of real important keys. Number one, they are people with high levels of personal confidence. Now, some of them, yes, they were born with that confidence, and some of them earned that confidence along the way. And some of them developed confidence because of their success. But nevertheless, they own high levels of confidence. So I'm going to ask you, first of all today, Do you own a high level of personal confidence in your business? Yeah, if the answer is yes, then fantastic. You are on your way. If the answer is no, then what I want you to do is make a big star around that note and notice that I want you to get engaged with everything in our program that helps you elevate confidence because confidence, guys, is the key. That's number one. Here's number two. The second thing that separates those top performers from everybody else, and it's their ability to be comfortable being uncomfortable. In other words, they are okay with taking a risk. They are the ones that are willing to face their fears and push past them and try something new and put themselves out in the world. So let me ask you. How comfortable are you with allowing yourself to be uncomfortable, to push past your fears, to expand your set point, to face your fear and do it anyway? And again, 
if you answer, yeah, no, not very comfortable doing that, right? I tend to avoid the things I'm afraid of. Uh, I don't like to take risks. Then I'm going to ask you to put another star by that note and say, hey, this is the second biggest indicator of what I'm going to do in order to elevate my potential for success. And you guys, our gold membership has a million different uh, tools and techniques and neuro tools and classes and all kinds of, um, I guess what I'm going to say is resources for you to do these first two things, right? For you to elevate your willingness to take a risk and face your fears and two, to really elevate your confidence. So two out of two isn't bad, right? But let's go to the third indicator and that's this leaders, top leaders. In fact, if you ask them who helped them on their journey, do you know what the vast majority of them will say? Nobody. <laughs> In other words, they didn't have an upline support. They didn't have anybody that was looking out for them and covering their back and uh, putting people in their line and helping them qualify or teaching them how to qualify. In other words, the vast majority of top leaders in any organization will tell you they did it in spite of their recruiter. They did it alone. Now, what's interesting is so many of these leaders who had to go it the hard way and do it alone, what they're doing is they are displaying some internal qualities. So write these down. Because what I want you to do is I want you to hear the quality and then I want you to give yourself a score on a scale of 1 to 10 and say, how, how much am I in alignment with that? So here's the first one, right? Um, are you a make a way, find a way kind of girl, right? You either uncover a way to do it or you just make your way in the world. So find a way, make a way, make a way, find a way. A 1 to 10, is that you? Do you go out in search of solutions or just create the solutions when something shows up? Or do you sit around and wait for someone to teach it to you or show it to you? Just notice. Okay. Here's another one, right? Are you the kind of person that is proactive? Proactive. That means that you move out in advance, right? You don't sit and wait. You are proactive. So you move into action. You find solutions. You invent a solution. So another way to say that is that you are a self-starter. Is that you? Are you a self-starter? Are you proactive? Are you inventive? If so, give yourself a score, 1 to 10. And let's see where you are on two of these critical qualities that define top leaders. Good. So let me come back to the title of the podcast today, but also what my coach was helping me with, which was this. When he said, expect nothing, here's basically what he was saying, is that people who are expecting their upline to give them skills and give them people and fill in the gaps and teach them everything and watch their back, people who expect something, right? These are the, these are the distributors who end up having an energy of entitlement, right? Like somebody owes them something, but I'm here to tell you, nobody owes you anything. <laughs> You're the boss. You're in business for yourself. Is there a, a, a preferred team approach? Yeah, but just because it might be better that way doesn't mean that people will do that. You guys got it? So basically the bottom line is this. Your business is exactly what you make of it and everything else is gravy, right? Everything else is just something that makes it better. So let me tell you this, if, if you are expecting someone to give you something, I will tell you that that is a losing mindset. It's a mindset that's going to put you in the waiting game and it's a mindset that will make you very unattractive to your upline and to your customers because that entitled energy tends to leak out in every single direction. 
You guys, this is a simple mindset shift. This is about you making a decision. You will not wait for anyone. Nobody owes you anything and that you will move into action today. And it brings up the second quality that fits in the same category, and that's dependent. Dependency is that energy when people can be a bit victim. They can be a bit whiny, right? I can't be successful unless. So I want you to be really honest. I want you to look at your own mindset and your own behavior and ask yourself, do I have any of this energy where I believe I can't be successful unless somebody else does A, B, and C, or until dot, 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 just notice I can't be successful until or unless, and then there's some condition that you've made up in your own head. I got to tell you, this is victim mentality. And here's the thing. There are no boundaries in this business, except the boundaries or the limits that you place on yourself or you put up in your own mind. So you're the one making the rule up that says I can't be successful unless, or I can't be happy until that's you creating that boundary. Time to let that go. Here's the third piece that goes together with this negative energy. And it's basically that it's negative beliefs. I'm not enough. I'm too scared. I don't know how I've never done it before. I can't find people. This is that whiny energy that will literally cause your upline to run away from you. <laughs> so I will tell you this. If you have quality people in your upline and you want their attention, you better stay away from negative energy, negative mindset, any kind of dependency, and specifically any entitlement energy because these will cause your upline to run for the hills. And guess what, guys? If you possess it now, then do you know who you're going to attract? Do you know who you're going to be a match to? The same kind of energy. You get it? Good. All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to draw a line uh, on a piece of paper from the left side all the way to the right side. And on the left side, I want you to put negative 10. And on the positive side or the right side, you're going to put plus 10. Now, in the middle, of course, just put zero. And zero stands for neutral, neutral energy. This is called the emotional scale. So on the far left, you've got negative energy like desperation right? Victimhood, right? Dependency. You've got um, entitlement. And on the far right, at a plus 10, you've got personal empowerment, independence, go-getter. Do you guys feel that energy? So what I'm going to tell you is that every single moment that you spend on the left side of the equation, frustration, right? Impatience, anger, jealousy, comparison, resistance. Every single second that you spend on the negative side of the emotional scale, you are sabotaging your business. You're slowing down your business growth. And every single second that you spend on the positive side of the scale, in hopefulness, in knowing, in elevated confidence, in independent thinking, in make a way, find a way, in any energy at all that is positive, appreciation, love, joy, passion, bliss, you are growing your business. You are moving towards the very people that you want to attract into your business. So let me be blunt. Money and success avoids negative energy. You guys got it? Negative energy is a repellent for money and success. But money and success finds its way into the pockets of positive, powerful, can-do entrepreneurs. So it is as simple as creating a winning mindset. And that winning mindset makes you magnetic to customers, to attracting your upline to support you. Can-do attitude is about possibility thinking. It's about expecting to find solutions. It's about anticipating success. 
It's also about being appreciative, being grateful for everything that anyone does for you. Appreciativeness is that attitude of gratitude, right? That elevates your mindset and helps you look for and expect things to work out for you. You're looking for solutions. You're looking for answers. You know, it's also that mindset. I know you've heard this before of, you know, if it's going to be, it's up to me. In other words, I'm the solution. I'm the one that's going to find the resources. I'm going to figure it out. I can and I will. And no matter what, it's also about an internal decision that you make and you recommit to every single day that says this, you know, no matter what, I will be successful. I will do what it takes for however long it takes, right? For how often, however often I need to take action, I will do it until I am successful. See, that mindset that failure is not an option, that you will do what you need to do in order to create the business of your dreams. That decision and that mindset will attract the same qualities in your recruits, and it's also going to attract upline support because you know what's going to happen is you're going to stand out. You're going to be like a little shining light. You're going to be this glowing energy in a downline where a leader is going to look down and go, whoa, who's that? Who is she? She's rocking. She's rolling. I can do something with that. See, if you want to attract upline, if you want to attract their support, their coaching, their teaching, their leadership, You do it with your actions, not your words. Because when your actions say that you understand that you are solely responsible for your mindset, your attitude, your success, your rank advancement, when they see that you are owning that responsibility, that you expect nothing and you celebrate and appreciate everything, guess what? You become irresistible. And you get the very thing you were hoping to get anyway. See, expecting nothing and appreciating everything moves you from the negative side of that emotional scale to the positive side, which means it gets you moving. It's going to get your attention to the people you're recruiting. It's going to get your attention to the upline. It's going to literally give you the things that you were longing to attract at any rate. So, you guys getting it. You are getting support of teachers, mentors, guides, coaches. You can do that by checking out YouTube and podcasts and classes and membership. And what you're always looking for is a teacher or a trainer, whether they're inside your company or outside your company, that's a match to the energy you want to create, the beliefs that you want to create. So what you're doing, guys, is you're looking at these people and you're saying, are you living the very energy that I want to create. And if that's who you want to put your, that's who you want to put your uh, time in with, you guys getting it? Because what that mentor will do is put you in the driver's seat. What that mentor will do is to help you retrain your brain and learn the skills and tools that are going to be the best match for you and for where you want to go. So let me tell you about this. Um, In all of our gold memberships, actually all of our memberships, um, one of the things that we do that's very unique in the industry is we give you neuro tools. Neuro tools are brain retraining tools, right, that help you create a shift from the brain you kind of inherited, but but you're going to create instead the brain that you want and need in order to be successful at the level you want to succeed at. So I'm going to ask you to do a couple of things. I'm going to tell you, first of all, whether you're a member in our, any of our memberships or not, there are some free resources on our website. So I want you to go to our website. That's www.icaninstitute.com. Really simple, icaninstitute.com. And when you get there, I want you to find the tab that says free resources. And I want you to go there and download 
every thought counts. It's a binaural recording that will help you every single day set the tone of your energy, hold yourself in that positive side of the equation, right, with the mental approach that will help you grow into the leader you intend to create. Now, if you like what you see, if you enjoy that neuro tool, I'm going to suggest you want to join us in gold membership. Gold membership has all of the neuro tools and the classes, both mindset classes and skill set classes to help you master both the tools, the mindset, the energy, the focus and the skills that you need to be successful in network marketing. I hope you'll come and look, take a peek. See if this is right for you and decide today that you will embrace a mindset that guarantees you're successful. And what is that? It's simple. Expect nothing and appreciate everything. I'm Deb Erickson. I hope you'll let me be your business mindset coach. You've been listening to the Network Marketing Mindset Podcast with Deb Erickson. To learn more about Deb's business mindset coaching, classes, memberships, and leadership programs, visit us at ICANinstitute.com. And for free weekly tips and techniques to help you develop and grow your business, join our Facebook community today at facebook.com slash groups slash network marketing mindset with Deb.